everybody and welcome to day seven in the Big Brother house. If you can hear any banging, Andy's just doing some electrical work. He's an electrician, it's okay. Even though I've been in the house for seven days now um, and not going out because I'm worried that what I've got might be classes and underlying health condition that could be affected by coronavirus. Um, officially, today is the first day that other people have been on an official lockdown because in the UK yesterday, uh, our Prime Minister said that we are um, now not allowed, definitely not allowed to leave our house unless we're going shopping or unless we're going on uh, one daily exercise a day uh, and we've got to stay two metres away from each other so at least he's clarified that um, but yes, yeah, so today is my day seven so uh, going pretty well as you can hear and he's decided to do um, some electrical bits and bobs that we've been meaning to do for ages and as he's got the kit because he's an electrician he's um, he's doing that so that's nice if you can hear any banging that's what that is um, we've been doing deep cleans so yesterday we streamlined our bedroom and this room so it means that if we do get ill we can separate and have a bedroom each and also there's not a lot of stuff stuff on the top well there is actually at the moment but just because I put it there today the stuff um, on the tops has all been taken away so we can just deep clean it if we need to I mean it's fine um, so yeah no it's going quite well we've been keeping entertained watching new films on I was gonna say Instagram on Amazon and on Netflix and it's been okay how's it been going for you I mean for me it's like um, it's not much different to what I normally do. The only thing is, as soon as we were told we definitely couldn't go outside, I was like, oh my God, I want to go to the coffee shop down the road. But actually, I wouldn't have because I don't, you know, it's like, I wouldn't have because I don't want to get ill. That's the reason I was self-isolating self anyway. Um, but one thing that has happened as a consequence of me staying indoors I mean, it was happening anyway, but let's just pretend it was as a consequence of staying indoors. Got my book finished. Ba, 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 ba. Um, so yeah, my book is finished. I have got that sent to my printer and distributor. So they are just checking the proofs that I've sent them. Uh, and then I will request a physical proof if that's all gone through their, their initial digital um, proof reading. Uh, and then I will be able to print it out and set my publication date properly and start marketing properly and get a kickstart set up properly and I'm just dead excited. Um, I have actually got here a an exclusive just for you guys of my front cover um, and back cover in fact. So I apologise for the quality of the print of this. This isn't going to be the quality of the finished book. This is my home printing quality. Um, so, the book is called Our Dave and it is written and illustrated by Emma Woodthorpe. So that's the front cover and I'm very, very, very pleased with it. This front cover is going to wrap around the whole book. Um, so this is the back cover so it'll look like this. Front cover and you turn it around and that's him on the back and on the back it's got a little blurb which I shall read to now. Exclusive. In the cat shelter sat a poor black and white cat. Through the window he stared at the rain. Our Dave is the story of a very special cat in desperate need of a new home. Abandoned by his old humans and left to battle loneliness, will he ever find a loving family again? And then underneath I've got a quote. Some of you may have heard of this children's author. So this is a children's author called Diane Elson. She wrote uh, a book called Rabbit's Jam Making. She also had a series of books uh, back in the day called The Jungle Is about some jungle animals um, who were anthropomorphised. There's like a little group of children friends but they were elephants and giraffes and lions and things like that. Um, and she has given me a quote that I can use in the marketing of the book. And she has said of this, it is delightful, small children will love it. It's a story anyone who has adopted a cat will identify with. So there you go, exclusive front page, back page. Um, it won't be long until I have the proof uh, to look through. 
obviously I will be filming that process so when that comes through the post um, I'll, I'll film the opening of that so you can have a look at the book uh, before it's released and I'm going to look into setting up a Kickstarter page something I've never done before but I figured it's probably a good way of getting pre-orders in and I was thinking of doing um, a little like as far as I understand it, it's a bit like Patreon, so you can have different rewards for your for your Kickstarter pledge. So I was thinking either having like basic things like signed book, two signed books, three signed books. Um, I've been looking at other people's Kickstarter campaigns for books, so that tends to be one thing that they do. Uh, and then the price going up accordingly depending on how many books you get. And then I was thinking I could maybe do a colouring book, because I've done colouring books before for my art and illustration side of my business uh, and I really enjoyed doing them and as it's a kids book it would be nice it'd be a good thing to go alongside it so then I was thinking I could do sign book and colouring book two sign books and two colouring books etc etc but then I was thinking bookmarks I mean everyone likes a bookmark don't they I could add a bookmark into there for everyone to make it just something that you get a bit more than buying than if you just buy it in a bookshop you get you know a little bit extra so at least I can guarantee if people buy through me they get something nice and I've got a kind of idea of how much I'm gonna make initially um so yes yeah I've been very I've been very excited doing this whole proce process um I've learned loads so I've learned all about ISBNs I've learned all about metadata I've learned all about editing pictures making books borders margins it's just been such a big learning curve and I think what I might do while we're all in lockdown and in isolation I think I'm going to put all of this information of things that I've learned into a Skillshare class um, yeah because I've, I've got a lot of information a lot of knowledge that I've, I've picked up and it'd be nice if I could pass that along so I was thinking about doing a class about all how to make how to plan your book so from the thumbnail um, I'll show you my thumbnail right there So this you might not be able to see because I did it in pencil, but this is a thumbnail plan of my book. Um, so cover, duplex inside cover, first page, information page, title page, and all the other pages, uh, duplex cover, back cover, cover. Um, so I can, I, in, in a class I could show people how to make the thumbnail plan, things that they should include in the thumbnail plan, all about your copyright information. Um, you know where to place things in the book like your title page, your info page, um, your dedications. Uh, I could also teach people about the story arc which is um, you know how you build tension in your story which I've learned all about. How, how to back up what you're saying in your words with your pictures because um, I've, I've written a blog post about this actually over on emmawoodthorpe.com about uh, how to build tension in your, in, in your children's story and how to write a children's book and the benefits of the pictures because when you're writing a children's book you're really restricted so you've got 32 pages generally and not all of those are going to be are going to be text so some of those will be introduction pages title pages and all that kind of stuff um, and it's a really restrictive format so you really rely a lot on your pictures so it's um i could, I could say tell teach people about how to use your pictures to fill in the gaps about what your words aren't aren't or can't show you uh, and yeah I think I've got lots lots to show um, we show people how to set up a book uh, template in publisher because I've learned how to do that now yeah lots of things so um, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that because I've got lots of information to share it's all up here and it'd be a shame if it was just me that used it on my next books. If I could help someone else, that'd be brilliant. Um, I've just, when I was getting my thumbnail picture, I've uh, I picked this up as well, which is the book I was talking about before. So this is Diane Nelson, who has given me the quote for the back of my, my children's book. Um, and this is her book. It's called Rabbit's Jam Making. And it is signed. Look at that. This was my partner's book from when he was a little boy. 
and it's a lovely book. When I was teaching assistant, I took this in to some of my um, in job interviews for being a teaching assistant, and uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at it myself without showing you. Some lovely illustrations. Go and check her out. She's um, she's got her own website and everything. Obviously, everyone does. <laughs> Diane Elson. And this book is, uh, it says, when Rabbit finds Hedgehog eating as many blackberries as he can before they go bad, Rabbit decides to do something so that her friend can enjoy his favourite fruit all year round. Guess what that is. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that. Um, talking about lockdowns and Skillshare, you are probably going to be bored out of your mind. So I'm going to put down here a link which gets you two months free access to Skillshare. Now Skillshare is, it's like a, a online, oh, put my teeth back in, it's an online learning platform. So anything that you can think about, there is a class on that on Skillshare. Um, so I obviously like watching a lot of the arty and creative things, so there's loads of things on there from things kids can do through to adults, from painting, from photography, uh, if you want to learn about business marketing, if you want to learn about how to write a book, if you want... I, I can't even tell you how many things there are to learn on there. So if you are bored or if you know someone who is bored and you want to pass the time, head to Skillshare. So if you click, um, I'll put the link here, but also I'll put a clickable link down below in the, in the video description. And if you click through that link, it will be, you'll be asked to set up a membership profile um, and you only have to pay if you want to keep the Skillshare membership after the two month free trial. So if you don't want to get a paid membership after this, all you need to do is just cancel um, before the two months runs out, like you would do if you were getting a, a free trial of Adobe InDesign or something like that. So just make sure you cancel before the two months runs out and you won't need to pay, but it's a really good way of you um, being able to pass the time. Not only that, it is the only way at the moment that I am making any money being in lockdown. So um, it is a little bit selfish also of me sharing it but it's a good time for you to be to be clicking on it so it's it's like it's it's killing two birds with one stone so not only does it give you something to do while you're in lockdown it also helps me because even though these are free referrals so like it's a free trial and you don't need to pay anything um i get given a very small referral bonus it's like five dollars or ten dollars something like that um and that is the only way, Skillshare is the only way that I'm making money while I'm in lockdown um, because no one's going to my online shop because no one's got any money so this is a really good way, like if you've got no money or if you're worried also about your income this is a really good way of being able to support me because you don't have to pay anything and I can pay my bills it's, it'd be really helpful if you could, if you know anyone who would benefit from this as well please share my link with them because also if they click through my link and start a free trial I will get a little bit of money and I'm really worried about how I'm going to be able to pay my bills actually during this lockdown so any support you can give me would be fantastic and I don't like begging but um, you know these are desperate times guys but yes it will benefit you too because Skillshare is a really great resource um, not only do I have my classes on there but you know you have access to all of the classes on all of Skillshare so it is a good way to help pass the time and if you decide you don't like it just cancel. Bonus! Right so all the links for that are down below. I'm going to go now because I am starting to ramble but I really hope that you liked having a little preview of my book title page, not my title page, my book cover page. We're all going mad. <laughs> um, so yeah, our day. It will be better quality than that, I promise. Uh, but yeah, dead excited. So I will keep you informed about what's going on with the Kickstarter, um, with uh, the book, with other things. Uh, I'll put all my links down below as well, I've got my website down there. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on behind the scenes with me at the moment, you can sign up to my Patreon, which is also linked down below and I'll put the little web address here. <laughs> yeah. um, Patreon is a membership platform where you can support creators that you love uh, while not being tied 
into a subscription and you also get rewards for that, exclusive rewards that no one else gets. Uh, so it might be behind the scenes things, it might be um, looks into the projects that you're up to at the moment, but it's all stuff that um, that isn't anywhere else. So put my link down there for my Patreon, that's another way that you could support me, which would be lovely. Um, remember with Patreon that you're not tied into any kind of contract, so you can cancel your membership at any time, you can uh, up, up, update your tier so you can t change to a higher tier or you can change to a lower tier at any time it's really flexible so you could just drop in and give me one dollar and then cancel it's completely up to you but um or you can go in there and follow me for free so any updates that i put on there which are free will be uh will be, you'll get a little no notification if you follow me so if you go to my patreon account there should be a little button underneath my name with a plus sign saying follow and that is completely free that side of it but obviously you won't get all of the content if you follow. But you will get updated for the free things. I told you I'd start to rabble, didn't I? Right, I'm going to go and have a little break now because I've been working at my desk for a while and I am starting to go crazy. So I will see you again soon. Keep safe, keep washing your hands, don't go out unless you need to, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.